Hi everyone, Infinity here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you're doing well. Today's video is going to be a massive build. So this is a longish kind of video. I do apologize for that if you guys don't like long videos. But essentially what I'm going to do is place three houses and make a neighborhood but I want each house to be floating on its own little island and then I'm going to be adding a lot of water at first I was just I was actually not going to connect the houses with bridges and just have them kind of stranded but then I decided to use bridges so now uh, after this build I'm five bridges in on this island but that's okay because we get 10 so it'll be fine it'll all work out anyways three houses here bones Sylvana and Weber those are the three villagers whose homes I'm gonna be placing and decorating they're not gonna have massive yards because like I said I want them all to be on their own little island and the yards really don't have a theme I just kind of went with the same decor that I have for this island but yeah so grab a snack grab a drink and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit I also decided to make these little floating islands along with the neighborhood as well otherwise there would be too much water and to be honest with you I actually hate the edge of the islands that we have it never looks good when you add water so I tried my best to make it you know not be like a straight line but I still don't like it but we're just gonna ignore that and then I do have that rock right there and I decided to make like you'll see later on in the video that I decided to make a little island out of that little rock as well so I'm gonna move forward to the next day and Sylvana's house is now placed it's ready to go so I can continue decorating her little yard I think she's got the biggest yard only because hers is her house is so far back but it's super cute and all of the houses on my island are all gonna look the same this color this style you guys know if you've been following me for a while that I love the bubble houses so much I think they're so cute they're my favorite style of house and I did customize all of the all of the houses that are in this neighborhood to be this way so that it matches my color theme for my island
So Sylvana's house is done. Now it's time to place Bones's house and just continue with this neighborhood. To be honest with you, I was feeling pretty ambitious when I started this build. It took me a long time because it's a lot of waterscaping and a lot of terraforming, but I do actually love how it looks in the end. And I also love that it is a huge, massive build, so it took up a lot of space on my island, which I'm actually okay with. I actually love big builds like this, and I hope that you guys are finding some inspiration and motivation from this video. I'm going to move forward one more day so that Bones' house is in place. And here I was like, should I place Weber's house right away? And then I was like, no. Because up until this point, I was undecided whether I was actually going to make bridges for the villagers or just like leave them stranded. So I decided to actually place the bridge first just so I know how much space I have so that I can work on Weber's house and his little yard because there is going to be one more bridge that's going to be placed in this area. Here I realized that I didn't make the land wide enough for the bridge and here this also makes me angry because it's not fully like it's not lined up with Sylvana's door but we all know how much Animal Crossing hates symmetry in this game, so we're just going to ignore that as well. It's time to place Weber's house and move forward so that the bridge and Weber's house are in place and then I can work on creating the third, third? Second bridge, third bridge in this area and that I'm going to do as an angled bridge right here and then I realized, you know what, it's actually not wide enough so I'm going to, or not long enough, I don't know, wide enough. Yeah, sure, let's go with wide enough. It's not wide enough, so I did have to break into this little piece of land right here. And now it's time to place this bridge, which means I do have to move forward one more day. So this bridge, I mean, this build altogether, like in game days, took like four days, five days. And actual time, it took like two hours, maybe a little bit more. It was a long build but I hope you guys like it.
I'm gonna move forward one last time so that the final bridge is in place. And then it's just finishing touches. I gotta connect this path to the bridge and then just finishing touches and then this huge massive neighborhood is all finished. So the floating island neighborhood is all finished and let's go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this speed build and that I've inspired you to make a similar type neighborhood on your island. And if you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you'd leave a like and a comment because it does help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!